Hi, it's Brandon Spillay from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the bench press with shoulder saver. This is a great bench press variation aimed at using to improve your bench press and specifically just coming off the chest. So the shoulder saver, which I have on the bar attached here, is a unique apparatus from EliteFTS.com. They offer two. This one's equivalent to about a one and a half board, and the black one that they offer is right around a two board. Nice little hack is if you want a little bit less, you can actually flip this over, use this flat side, and then you'll get a little bit more than a half board. So you can really get three different board press variations out of this if you so desire. Now the reason you would use this, it can be multifaceted. So you know we might use this to just save our shoulders. If you're somebody that likes the bench press but your shoulders just can't take it week after week, this is a great $30, $40 investment that you can slap on the bar or take to the gym with you and you can save your shoulders. It's also great for building the triceps. So obviously we're not going to have a full range of motion so the triceps are going to take a little more grunt than usual. Um, so you can use this as a main exercise to build your triceps in particular to, to your bench press. Um, the other reason you might use this is, is to offer it in terms of a different variation or a way to build up your bench press if you're having issues in that area. So let's talk about some execution things here and then we'll go over some programming. So just treat this like your regular bench press. We've got a video on our YouTube channel of how to actually bench press uh, with myself and one of my former interns. I would check that out. That's going to cover all your uh, checks and boxes in terms of how to actually bench press correctly and get the most out of the exercise. We're just going to have this on here, and this is unique, the shoulder saver is, because the tip is round. So therefore, the touching point is going to actually be less than if you use something like a bench block. Bench blocks are great. Board presses are great. However, they get that nice big wide surface, and the way the bar touches it is different than, you know, if you've got that big flat thing hitting you every time, that's different than what it's going to simulate the bar. So the Dave and them at Elite FTS really designed this intelligently so that when it touches your actual chest, it's going to mimic the barbell as in a competition. So we're going to lay down here. First things first, just some quick things to go over. Make sure the bar is pulled all the way towards the front of the J hooks. Then we're going to focus on setting our back. So I personally get up on my feet and set my shoulders and my back here. You can also have your feet down. That's all personal preference. Once I get my shoulders set, I grab the bar. I make sure that my knuckles are towards the ceiling. We don't want that bar sitting back to our hands rolled like this. We want to make sure our hands are good and forward. And then adjust your hands for what's comfortable toward, for you, just so long as we're not super narrow or also not super wide. Just wherever your competition grip would be if you compete. If not, something relatively shoulder friendly. Usually around the power rings is pretty common for most people. Got my shoulders set. I'm going to drop my feet. Feet can be out. Feet can be tucked. That's all personal preference. Once we're in that position, eyes are underneath the barbell, and we should be good to go. We're going to unrack the bar, move it out into my lats here, brief touch, press. And then rack. Main thing you want to make sure when you're performing that exercise is when you come down to the chest, you're not going to let it super sink and then try to push. Just keep your back set, everything in good position. Let it briefly touch and then press back. It'll do a great job of teaching you how to stay tight and control the exercise. Now, when it comes to programming this exercise, we have quite a few options available to us depending upon how you train and kind of what your goals are. So I'm going to cover the common thing first, and that's the max effort method through conjugate and west side training. I think you'll see this is a great variation for those populations that are looking for something that's very similar to their bench press and they're trying to benefit it. So um, this is a great job of letting you test that one rep max without always going down to the chest. Chances are if this exercise improves over time, you're probably going to see your bench press improve. The second place that you're probably going to see this is as a supplemental exercise. So if you don't do conjugate, which is totally fine, totally okay, you've got lots of people uh, in my programming roster and in my facility that don't train that way, this is a great way to build your bench press after you've done your main bench press work. So say your normal training day, you've got four sets of three for the day and you do that and you're finding that you're missing a lot or you're having troubles right here off the chest, you know, two to three inches maybe at the most, then you'd slap this bad boy on the bar and then do your supplemental work, in which case you're probably going to anywhere from two, maybe even up to five sets and then your reps are probably going to be between three and ten depending on how many sets you have and what kind of phase you're in, whether you're doing hypertrophy or a little bit more strength work. The other option is if you happen to be somebody like a strongman, this is a great way to develop your triceps, in particular towards lockout strength and maybe your overhead strength. 
because there's not really a whole lot of bench pressing in the sport of strongman, at least competitively. And then the other last option is just your general strength at or general bodybuilder uh, strength at, strength enthusiast. This is a great way to, again to save your shoulders, still let you train your chest, mainly your arms, and still not beat your, beat your shoulders up in the process. If you happen to be an athlete, I do think this is a great way to have some of your athletes train as well to develop some upper body strength without necessarily cramming them into that internal rotation that some of them probably don't have. So if you've got any questions about the bench press with the shoulder saver, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.